There's an ultimate sixth sense of spiritual things that don't come from the reasoning of your mind, nor the feelings of your emotions, but rather the faith of the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen, according to Hebrews 11.1, 1, which is the will of God for our lives. Those led out of captivity from Egypt by Moses were quick to put their faith in the idol worship of a golden calf made with their own hands, instead of the word of the Lord that came out of the mouth of his servant Moses. Are you hearing God in your situation, friend, or are you tempted to construct an answer with your own mind that your eyes can confirm is reality as opposed to what seems unsure in that which can't be seen by sight? Tempting, isn't it, to come up with your own conclusions that deny the power of God to overcome obstacles in your life. It seems easier to settle for less so you're not disappointed. It seems more practical to not believe as opposed to having to face the failure of your hopes. But God doesn't deal in mere possibilities. He deals in substantial reality that can't be undermined by the doubt of man if the faith of the Spirit is functioning to walk by things unseen with physical sight. The key is to know God the way Moses knew God standing beside the Red Sea before it parted. The key is to know God the way Abraham knew God as he held the blade above his son Isaac in obedience to a merciful God's instructions. The key is to fashion a faith that's free from worldly criticism and functions not according to human wisdom, but takes God's word.